Hi, my name is Dennis Wonyala. Uganda today joins the rest of the world in commemorating the International Deaf Awareness Week with the theme full inclusion with sign languages we are here in moroto district located about 500 kilometers away from capital kampala and of course i will be talking to a couple of deaf people just to get to know what are some of those challenges that they are going through don't you go away <laughs> My name is Betty Najemba. Well, the challenges that I've gotten as a person, the more I've been with a relationship with people, with my neighbors, the stigma, discrimination. For example, um, in school, when I joined a secondary school, I remembered one, um, one school there, where I was competing very well. And the fact that we're learning sciences in all level. So when I got into that school, so I had uh, the requirements to be admitted in that school. But the fact that I was deaf, they said they couldn't teach me. So I tried to explain to them, but they told me, well, we can try. They said no. So I gave up on that school. So. I tried uh, about uh, three big schools, but I failed to get a vacancy because I was deaf. Yes, uh, our clients don't access services. You go to police and interpreters, they take you to the um, in hospitals. They find challenges accessing interpreters. And um, the problem is they can't have money to pay the interpreters. So I think uh, basically the, the, the problem we found in our clients is accessibility to information, to communication and services because there are no interpreters to help our clients. So do you hope to get our money in the near future? I don't believe in self-pity. I mean pity myself. I don't believe in that. That is the key thing that has driven me. It's a key factor that has helped me. Because for example, very many people they underlook uh, different things. You see, for example, if someone is deaf, they say they can't do different things. But for me, I feel I am at the same level with anyone that is hearing, any other normal person. So whatever they can do, I can do. Also, it is, uh, also I'm a, hard, I'm a very hardworking girl. This lecture is very important because it's a part of the Deaf Awareness Week and we always hold these lectures to really assess the challenges of deaf people and we get lecturers like these to give us a public lecture on raising awareness. We, this year's theme is full inclusion. So we want to see how the deaf people can be included in the issues of having their human rights realized. <laughs> because we felt that uh, to get access to your rights, you need to know your, how to demand your needs. Many of our members are raped, do not have access to health services, but they do not know how to demand for these rights. So we felt that this lecture will raise awareness, will also empower our members of our communities to ensure that they are able to demand their rights. And when they know how to demand for their rights, it will be a continuous process. Then they will demand these rights from the service providers. Deafness is an invisible disability across the globe. Currently, Uganda has about one million deaf people who are struggling to go to school so that they may learn the sign language to communicate internationally with other people. They have called upon government to help them, include them into policy making, include them into budget allocation so that they may be able to perform better and also better themselves. I am Dennis Oniala, here in Uganda.